It's Saturday, the 27th of May. My name's Juan Brown, special broadcast from Wayne, Nebraska. How did this guy get a door open on an Airbus A321 while the aircraft was still in flight, while for years we've been led to believe that plug-type doors are unable to be opened in flight while the aircraft is pressurized? Well, here's how. Let's check it out. First, starting with the Aviation Safety Network. Uh, this happened yesterday, 26 May, an Airbus A321-231 aircraft over in South Korea, Asiana Airlines. While on approach at approximately 600 feet, and that's the key to this event, 600 feet when the L3 emergency exit door was open. That's the third emergency exit door on the left side of the A321. The aircraft landed safely on 13 right and taxied to the apron. It appears that a passenger of the exit row seat 31A had opened the door. Twelve passengers complained of... What's that? Dis... Dis... <laughs> hyperventilation, and nine of them were sent to the hospital. Everybody else was unharmed. The emergency slide of the L3 door was damaged. Yeah, it was ripped off the uh, side of the aircraft from the slipstream of the wind. Let's check this out. Here's a review of the original video on Twitter, and it does show that the aircraft is in fact in flight, and they're getting a heck of a wind storm in the cabin. So how was it that he was able to do that? Here's a picture of the actual door after the aircraft landed, and here we can see the emergency slide ripped off of the L3 door. L3 door being the third one on the left, located behind the wing. And note the door is moved forward when it's opened up. More on that in a minute. Door 3L on the Airbus is a semi-plug type door that is held in place by these pins and sockets located right here. All of these doors are operated under two conditions, either armed or disarmed. While the aircraft is airborne or moving, the doors are in the armed position so that it, if in the event of the, an emergency, you open the door, you deploy the slide. On these doors, these two bars keep the door parallel to the airframe, and this assists the door with opening. And if you open the door in the armed condition, a nitrogen bottle located right here, right here, a small nitrogen charge assists in opening the door. So if you can get the door to release from the latches, this nitrogen bottle will help open the door and open it up against the slipstream. Typically these doors are rated for about 50 knots of wind on the ground um, and have a gust lock that they'll open up into once the doors are fully opened. So if the pressurization differential is low enough, like on landing, all you got to do is overcome the force of a about one-tenth of one PSI to get these latches to unlock on this door. Now let's look at that pressurization schedule. Here's an Airbus technical paper on pressurization of the aircraft and right down here is the pressurization schedule. So normally an aircraft is pressurized to about eight to nine thousand foot cabin altitude while the aircraft is in cruise flight and a computer programs the scheduling of this pressurization to for comfort of the passengers and it always keeps a positive pressure on the doors and the plug type doors so you can see at cruise altitude right up here you have nearly eight to nine psi pressure differential so it would be impossible to open a door at cruise altitude but as the aircraft climbs or descends the the cabin altitude and the cruise altitude end up coming very close to each other and in fact at one point the cabin altitude goes a bit lower than the landing altitude to put positive pressure on the doors to keep them from rattling around and uh, for a few other reasons but at some point down here as the aircraft gets close to say a thousand feet above the ground or so the cabin altitude and the 
pressure out the pressure outside the aircraft are nearly equal maybe only one tenth of one psi of pressure differential so at this one point a passenger could conceivably open one of these semi plug doors and if we look at the numbers uh, you know 60 inch door by 36 inches that's 2160 square inches times just 0.1 psi that's 216 pounds of force a passenger could raise that lever and get that door open so as we go back and look at this picture we can see of course the slide torn off but also damage to the door one or two of those one of those bars is completely busted off of the top of the door that keeps it parallel to the aircraft and looks like the door is bent into the airframe as well so obviously this passenger is in a lot of trouble for opening this door. He was under some kind of mental distress why he did it in the first place. Everybody else is going to be fine. Again, the pressure differential at that low of an altitude is not enough to suck anybody outside of the aircraft. And pause for a second. And, and he may have been fiddling with the door throughout the flight, but it's, it would only be right at this altitude, very near to the ground, that there would be enough... Uh, minimal pressure against the door that the passenger would be able to open it in the first place and then again the nitrogen bottle assist would assist opening the door against the slipstream in this armed condition of the door and of course he blows the slide and rips that off the aircraft as well it's a good thing that he wasn't on the door forward of the wing because that slide could have easily been ingested by the engine depending on how far that slide would have been spit out during the opening of the door so, once again, somebody disproves the, if there's some way of screwing something up, somebody will figure out how to do it. And if you can open up a plug type door in flight, this passenger somehow managed to do that. Thanks so much for your support, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here. How did that guy do that?